Here we are in the cockpit. Uh, as you can see, you have seating for an additional four people out here. All of this comes up and you know, this, if you're fishing, this can act as a cutting board and it comes up super easy to clean. This is set up just with more fishing gear, your tackle, everything comes out, which is really nice. So this is your uh, ice maker for your fish. There's fish boxes here. This is a fish box. So you can put your ice in there, keep your fish that you just caught in there. There's one on each side. This is just storage right now, but this could also, um, this is also a freezer and it can keep ice and also fish. This just pulls out again with all of your equipment that you would need. Cushions can come up and again, you've got a cutting board there. This is just an outlet. This is a hookup for electric reels if you have those and this is hook up if you're diving and you need you need a a lung down below there uh, access under here to your zf pods so you can service them uh, right here you've got your live well right here you got your transom gate really and then over here you've got your glen denning so you can um, roll your short power cord in it. Okay, so again, you've got another little cooler in here. This is also a fish box. Down in here, you've got lots of storage, spare anchor, as access to your ZF pods, which again, you can take that hatch up right there and, and service them and access them that way. Same thing back there. So lots of room down here. Okay, so again, I'm opening up access to the engine room, which is really nice. You don't have to drop into a hole. You literally can just step right down and inside. Beautiful engine room. There's only 315 hours on the engines. So here's your access to your um, Eskimo ice maker. So this is freshwater hookup if you need to flush the, the engines after you ran them. Engine seacocks are right underneath there. The AC seacocks. And we got your phaser, generator. We got an oil changing system, which is really nice and convenient. And you can see that the oil was changed last year. We changed it at 302 hours, so this oil that's in there now has about 20 hours on it. Okay, as we enter the bridge area, we have this very, very large cooler, um, which opens up and it goes all the way back there. You could certainly sit two people there underneath here is just storage there's two ac units up in the bridge area which keeps it very very nice and cool so we come up here so you can sit two people here you've got nice views all the way around then we have our helm here you've got dual screens your vessel view autopilot um, uh, and then this is for obviously for the joystick control for the ZF pods. Right here's a little cheat sheet, which is really nice. It tells you uh, the docking length, which is 49.4, beam is 13.9, draft is 3, and height over mass is 22.6. Weight is 15 tons. So here you have access up to the flybridge, which is nice that you can be undercover uh, to get up there. And inside, this is freezer storage. So if you're doing like a long trip to the Bahamas or something, uh, you can keep food long term in there. So the teak has just been left natural. Got a nice high bow rail. We've got foot, uh, foot buttons for the windlass here. And then of course you have the huck 
Prince cleats. But lots of things to hold on to. You feel very secure as you're walking aft. There are um, rough outriggers that go with this boat. He just doesn't have them on currently. So again, two hatches in the salon and galley. Um, one hatch for the head. This is for the guest stateroom. And that hatch up there is for the 